The book of 2 Samuel is a narration of David as he becomes the king of Israel and the time during his reign, yet it also includes two psalms and hymns of praise in the final chapters. Its author is Samuel the prophet who wrote it at about 930 BC. The key personalities are David, Joab, Bathsheba, Nathan, and Absalom. It was written to record the history of David's reign and to demonstrate effective leadership under the submission of God. Approximately half of the book tells of King David's success and the other half shows his failures. In chapters 1 to 10, we find that David becomes the king of Judah while the northern part of the nation, Israel, rejects God and chooses to go with the dynastic tradition by selecting Saul's son Ish-bosheth to rule. Ish-bosheth eventually was executed and the northern tribes asked David to rule the entire nation of Israel. King David chooses to establish a new capital, Jerusalem, and through a tragic process, brings the ark there. In chapters 11 to 24, we observe the sinful side of King David during his reign, and how it affected the nation of Israel. First, David commits adultery with a married woman named Bathsheba and she becomes pregnant. Afterward, he has her husband murdered in an attempt to repair things. The prophet Nathan confronts him and David repents and soon after the child dies. Bathsheba later gives birth to Solomon, who will be the next king of Israel. Absalom, David's other son, plots a rebellious takeover and the nation approves. David flees for his life, yet ultimately raises enough troops and a strong backing to take back his seat and restore order. In the process, his rebellious son was killed. The genre of the book of Amos is narrative and prophetic oracle. The prophet Amos wrote it around 760 to 750 BC. This was shortly before the fall of the northern kingdom to Assyria, which took place 